Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am about to go thrifting. I'm sitting in my car getting ready to go to a Savers that's kind of close by to Boston. The Savers near me are generally overpriced, so I don't love shopping there, but this one particularly, I usually find some good things just because it is closer to the city. I feel like if people live or work in the city, it's easy for them to get to the specific location and drop off maybe their donations. And for some reason, I just find better things at the specific location. So we'll go, we'll check it out. We'll see what they have. We're going to keep our fingers crossed because again, savers for me can be pretty hit or miss, but I figured I would bring you along with me. Maybe maybe you guys can be good luck charms. We'll see. But my name is Melon. I'm a fashion blogger from Massachusetts. And if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we do a lot of thrifting and fashion related content. So if you like either of those or the combination of the two, this might be the best place for you. And whether you're new or you've been here before, thank you for watching. We're going to keep our fingers crossed that Thrift Gods can get us some really good stuff today. So I'll bring you along and show you what I got at the end. It's a rainy day, which is always the best day for thrifting in my opinion. The store had a lot of people in it and I was actually surprised that I got a cart. First up was the jewelry section. I'm looking for anything that I can turn into a charm necklace like this Liberty Bell necklace. I thought this box was really cool for trinkets, but I passed because someone put marker on it. And I thought the coloring looked kind of strange. I love shopping for home decor at the thrift store. Usually I look for things that are brass or like a fun and funky shape. Today there really wasn't much that I wanted though. Next up is the sweater section. I'm looking for anything that has a really bright and bold color, maybe a funky pattern. I was loving this cardigan that I found. I personally passed because I knew I wouldn't get much wear out of it, but I thought the pattern was very fun and vintage inspired. I'm seeing a lot of that on my Instagram feed lately. I'm fortunate to live in a place where they have sweaters and sweatshirts out all year round. I know some places will take the sweaters and sweatshirts in once the weather gets warm, but it is still cold here, which made me wonder, do I need this big pink fluffy jacket? I did pass because I have something very similar, but I just thought it was so fun and stylish. I always make sure to check out the linen section so I can find things that I can turn into dresses or skirts later. I can also usually find Halloween decor all year round because I live near Salem. I always say to check out the aisle ends because people put the things that they try on back here and look what I found. I could not believe my eyes, my jaw dropped. It was a pair of Ghani jeans in my size, best print ever and only $10. I couldn't believe it. This was a really fun American apparel skirt. Unfortunately, it wasn't my size. Otherwise I would have picked it up. But usually when I find things that are white at the thrift store, they're kind of dirty. This one wasn't though. Sifting through the jeans, I was hoping to find another pair of designer jeans like the Ghani ones, maybe if that person donated multiple from their collection, but unfortunately today I didn't really find much. Usually when I'm looking for jeans, I'm looking for anything that's like a very stiff or rigid type of denim. Those are the kind of jeans that I prefer. I know not everyone feels the same. I found this super fun pair of pants from Vineyard Vines. They were a really pretty teal color and they had snowflakes embroidered all over them. At first I thought they were flowers, but they are snowflakes, which I feel like is a winter staple. Next up is the skirt section. I found this super fun plaid skirt that I absolutely loved. Once I pulled it out though, I realized it was from Shein and the quality was terrible, so I did decide to pass on it. It's always funny when you're at the thrift store and you find something that you either do or used to own. I used to have this skirt. I've since consigned it, but just thought it was funny to show you. It's hard for me to hold my phone and look through things at the same time, but look how many dresses this thrift store has. I was pulling out everything that reminded me of spring, like all the pastel colors and florals. They seriously had such a great selection, which is awesome for me because I love wearing dresses. I think it's so easy to put together an outfit with a dress because you don't have to think about all these different components with the top and the bottom and what combination you're gonna be putting together in order to have something cohesive. I love this dress for spring. I thought the color combination was so pretty and the style overall. Unfortunately, I just thought the price was a little bit too steep and I didn't have a coupon today, so I did decide to pass on it, but I don't know, I just thought it was really pretty. Whenever I go thrifting, I always make sure to check out the men's sweater section. I feel like you can always get a lot of great quality pieces here. I personally love the color of this sweater. It's like a pea soup green. It would have gone great in my wardrobe. I don't know why I passed on it. I'm actually kind of regretting it as I watch this again. 
As you can see, this thrift store was kind of picked over. I really like this store in the way that they organize their shoes. They do organize by style and then by size. So when I'm looking at here, kind of all the sandals and heels, and then they actually put the boots in a completely different section. Usually I always go to the boots first because I'm always looking for things like Doc Martens, but today they didn't have any, unfortunately. I always make sure to check out the bag and wallet section because you never know what you're gonna find. Like this brass knuckles clutch, it doubles in functionality. I skipped over to the sweater section and found this piece that I absolutely loved. It was dead stock and vintage and had a really fun bow in the front of it. And for only $8.49, I thought the price was actually pretty good considering that it is new with tags. The only issue is that it has all these stains all over it. I figured I would bring it home to give it a try and stay tuned to the end to see if the staining actually did come out. And this is what I mean when I say this thrift store is way overpriced. This is a Forever 21 sweater for $10. I feel like you could buy that new for the same price. So it's three weeks later. I forgot to film an outro as I always do, but that particular thrift trip, I actually only bought two things, which I'll show you one of those things now because I only have one of them right now. You can remember I bought those awesome Ghani jeans. I could not believe my eyes when I found them because Ghani is one of those brands that I've been seeing so much on my Pinterest boards, so much in my Instagram feed, and I've never purchased anything from the thrift store before. I found some items on ThreadUp previously, but that's because I'm looking for like the brand specifically, but I didn't think the brand was popular enough for me to find those jeans at the thrift store. So I bought them because I only looked at the size tag and obviously the price being very inexpensive. And the size tag said they would be my size, at least like on the savers tag is what they were listed at. Unfortunately, when I went to go put the jeans on, they were way too small. I could not even get them past my hips. So I decided to send them to the real real because I figured I can get some credit for these and maybe purchase a pair that is actually my size because I really like the jeans itself. It wasn't just the brand. And it was cool because they're actually real. So the real real did accept them and they've taken photos of them. They're just not listed yet. So that usually indicates, of course, that these are a real item, which is super fun because Ghani is a designer brand that, you know, it's, it's not very common to find just in the thrift store. But like I said, that thrift store is near the city. People drop off some really good items there. So it was really cool to see that I could find something that kind of fit the bill. But as I mentioned earlier in my video, all the things there were super overpriced. There was like a Forever 21 sweater for like $12 and just, you know, not a lot of things that I felt like were a reasonable price to buy. So I decided to leave them behind, but I did get one thing, like I mentioned, and Sorry, I was heating up a burrito and the bell just off if you could hear it and Winston's excited. But anyway, I did get this sweater, which is from the brand Robert Scott Limited. It's a size extra large, which I feel like this runs very small, but it is the funnest, cutest little sweater I've ever seen. Since I purchased this, I've washed it and all of the stains that were on it have come out, which I assumed they would because where this was new at tags, it was, it was like a dead stock vintage item and it had some staining on it. I'm like, there's no way that someone could have worn this with the tags and got stains like all over the back of it. It was probably just stored maybe in someone's basement or attic for that amount of time. And who knows what the stains were, but they did come out on the first wash. So that's amazing. It's 100% cotton, so very easy to wash, very easy to manage. But I just feel like this, first of all, this sweater is very much my style. Like you guys know, I love anything with a collar. It has like a bow in the front and it almost kind of looks nautical to me which nautical stuff right now as i'm seeing in some spring trend videos is trending i don't really follow trends too much i just you know watch a lot of youtube videos and get to hear what um people are talking about but again i really did like the look and feel of this and i guess it's nice that i can be on trend but it has a little like puff sleeve it has this little like embroidered detail on the front some fun stripes on the sleeve so i'm really excited to wear this and I'm really happy that I found it and I can give another vintage piece a new life or really it's first life because again, this was new with the tags before I had purchased it. But because I only purchased one thing from that savers, I figured I would show you a couple other things that I've got either from consignment shops that are near me or ThreadUp um, because I do a lot of shopping on ThreadUp. So just so, you, just so you don't have one thing to look at in this haul, which isn't a bad thing. It's okay to only go to the thrift store and get one thing or even nothing. But I figure for the video purposes, I'm excited to share the things that I bought. So I will make sure to do that. 
Um, but first and foremost are these boots that, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me wearing these a bunch already, but these are Ugg boots from ThreadUp. They are so fun. They're platform and they're just, they just go with a lot of great outfits. I wear these with flared jeans and I feel like it looks like really cool. Like I'm like a hip, hip girly when I wear these and uh, they are the platform style that has, as you can see, kind of like the sock that comes up like this and they have a zipper on the side, which makes these so easy to take on and off. And I know a lot of what is like trending right now are kind of like the low, the low version of these, but in my personal opinion, the low Uggs are so hard to take on and off. I have a pair in pink that I showed you in a different video and it's just a nightmare to take them, put them on. They're easy to take off, but they're hard to put on. So I really do like how this comes up like this, but with that said, to me, it kind of looks unfinished, so I really only can wear them with flared jeans if I ever wanted to wear them with, I don't know, like shorter cropped pants or even a dress, I wouldn't be able to. Um, so that is one of the things that I purchased from ThreadUp along with this pair of shoes, which I'm very much in a spring mood right now. I am so, so done with winter. It's cold here. March is right around the corner. Maybe by the time I post this, it'll already be March. We'll see. But these shoes are from Circus by Sam Edelman, which is a style that I am obsessed with. I have so many pairs of these shoes in all different colors because they are the perfect, like formal type of shoe in my opinion. I've worn these, the style anyway, to a number of different weddings and you can wear these all night long without there being an issue. Like you can literally dance the night away in these and they're still comfortable in my opinion. So I prefer this like block heel style over like a stiletto heel or just something that isn't as like substantial as this. And it has like a little like strap to keep them, keep it on your foot and a little fun peep toe, but I'll show you just like the pattern, it's so pretty. It's like these little like flowers and all the colors in it, I feel like will make it really easy to match with a number of different dresses that I have. And I do have a few weddings that I'll be attending this year. So I'll have these in my closet to wear if whatever the dress I end up picking ends up choosing these. But if it's not these that I wear, I do have a couple other different colors like I mentioned before. Okay, next up is an item from a consignment shop that is close by to me called Worthy Girl. I used to work there and I used to do all the inventory there. It was such a fun job. And this vest they posted on their Instagram stories and I needed it. But fun story about it. I'll show you the item before I tell you the story, but it is this fuzzy, like fur, faux fur vest that it's, it's just so fun. And it's cropped and I figure I can wear this over like a long sleeve, like maxi dress. I've been seeing a lot of the like mob wife aesthetic recently and a lot of like the fur jackets are part of that but again with spring coming up soon like right now i can wear a jacket that might have long sleeves like this but in the spring i won't be able to the brand is i love h81 which i've talked about on my channel before it is a forever 21 like subsidiary essentially like back in like say 2012 2014 forever 21 used to have this i love h81 or heritage 80 1981 uh brand that essentially was like kind of like free people dupes is how I'll describe it. Like it was very of the time, like hipster and just very like retro inspired. And although I don't remember seeing this specific vest on the website, I do remember a certain somebody that I know who used to own one. It's funny because right when they posted this, I purchased it immediately. And then my twin sister, who I do have a twin, fun fact, she texted me to show me, look, my my vest is on their Instagram stories. And I was like, that's funny because I just bought it. So I ended up buying my twin sister's vest, which I've done this before. Like we both can sign at the specific shop. They're really cool. They're hip and happen and they have a lot of really fun clothes like this. And um, her and I have both like purchased each other's items without knowing that it was like each other. So it's just funny because like before, we sent it there. We obviously didn't communicate like, hey, do you want this? Hey, whatever. Because we do a lot of clothing swaps between the two of us because we are the same size and we have very similar styles overall. So I just thought that was funny because I've probably worn this before. I probably borrowed it before and I've definitely seen my sister wearing it. And it's just funny because she, she essentially like gave it to me, right? Like I gave her like money for it. So that was really funny, but I'm excited to wear that. Like I said, like maybe over like a maxi dress or whatever else. But next up we have this sweater from ThreadUp. 
It is the brand Zara and it has these like a really fun floral print, but look at the buttons. This is like what really sold me. So it has these like floral buttons, kind of like an alternating color down the bottom. And I like it because it buttons all the way to the top in like a crew neck style. So I could wear this as a cardigan, but I could also wear it as a shirt if I wanted to. The material is very soft and it's kind of hard to see in the light, but it's primarily like a lavender purple, but it has like little like speckles of pink in here as well. And I love anything that's colorful. I love anything that's floral. And like I said, I'm very much thinking spring. So I think this is one of the more fun and perfect additions to my closet. So I'll probably wear these, like I said, like everything I wear with jeans, but I'll probably wear these with like flared jeans. I can even wear them with these like Ugg boots. And I feel like it's like a really good, a really good outfit overall. Next up is another brand that I love and is the brand Kit. I purchased this from The Red Up and I was so excited when I found this jacket because I've been looking for kind of like a, like a Sherpa jacket that's very similar to this, like kind of like an oversized fit and something that I can kind of just throw on, especially again with the spring months coming up. It's still cold here in the spring, especially in like April and even early May. So jackets are necessary here even after winter, but I don't have well, actually, no, that's a lie. I do have a lot of lightweight jackets, but I have a lot of like heavy winter jackets. I have a lot of like lighter denim jackets, but I really don't have a lot of things that are in between that. So this is perfect for me. It is this kind of like quilted, almost Sherpa paisley print jacket. And it's just, it's really hard to see it, but it has like snap buttons in the front. And it's just, I don't know, it's just fun. It's like this really pretty olive green color. It has like little yellow and black details in it and it is the brand Kip, which is a brand from New York City. I have a sweatshirt that my fiance was so generous to give me for Christmas, which I love. And now I have a jacket that I can even wear over that so I can have like multiple Kip items. But this brand is kind of like very like New York City, like street style. And their price point is usually pretty high. But of course I got this for a much better deal on ThreadUp than I would have if I purchased this from the website. Uh, but really for that brand, you are purchasing for quality, of course, and style, but the quality of the pieces is unreal. Like beautiful, beautiful. Okay, next up, we have this sweater from also Zara. I feel like I'm on like a major Zara kick leak recently, but I purchased this from ThreadUp and it has little like shapes all over it. And it's really cool. I just love it. It's a really good quality, actually. We have the front and the back both have sheep on it. And I actually have the sweater in red already, except the red one that I have is from Shein. And even though this is also a fast fashion brand, the quality of it is like three times as good as the one that I have from Shein. It reminds me of Princess Diana because she had a sweater just like this that was red and had the sheeps all over it and had like one black sheep on it. And that's the Shein one that I have, like the version of her specific sweater. But this one reminds me of that too. So it's really cool because yep, Princess Diana vibes overall, but this one, it's kind of like cropped and I purchased it almost like a size down so that I can kind of wear it sort of tight. But again, where it was on thread up, it was kind of the only one that was available in the first place. But the quality of this, like I said, is very, very good. And I'm very excited to wear this all the time. This is beautiful. I love like the sheeps. On the same topic of Zara, we have another Zara sweater. Go figure. This one is from the same consignment shop worthy girl that I was talking about before. And I purchased this during one of their live sales. It's like a kind of like open crocheted type of sweater. And it has all these fun colors, like green, orange, white, black. I feel like this is like very like St. Patrick's Day-esque. And I'll probably wear it on St. Patrick's Day, but it is really fun. It's in great condition, also secondhand. And I purchased this for $20.99, but I had credit there. So technically it was free. We're going to call it free, but yeah, it's just really fun. It goes with my collection of other Zara sweaters apparently, but a really good lightweight sweater that I can wear even going into the spring month. So amazing, very good option there. Last but not least is this amazing sweatshirt from Free People. Now this is a sweater sweatshirt combination and it has llamas on it. I have this in a different color. It's like pink and gray, I believe. And 
I love it. I wear it all the time. I actually had, I've had two of these already because one I accidentally put through the dryer and it's made out of wool and it shrunk up beyond Bolivian. So I had to purchase another version of that. But when I was looking for another version of this one that I already had, I found this one on Mercari. And it was interesting because I've never seen one that has brown and yellow llamas on it. And the reason why is because it is a sample. So I know, I don't believe you're supposed to sell samples like resale. I think like on the tags, it usually says like not for resale, but this person on Mercari was selling it and I purchased it, which was really cool. The seller was actually like really not nice to me, which was annoying, but I purchased it anyway. And I just decided not to give them any feedback because the item itself is in really good condition and it arrived to me very quickly, but it's priced for like, like a ridiculous amount of money and so I had offered like a lesser amount and it wasn't even like a lowball offer but she like denied it right away and then she was like no she just said no and I was like okay like would you do like this price and she's like no and so I was like okay <laughs> I guess I won't buy it then because it's very overpriced then she ended up sending me an offer that was more in the price range that I was looking to purchase this for so I did buy it right away she shipped it it ended up in my hands and that's amazing but it has a hood kind of like a quarter zip in the front and then llamas on both the front and the back the gray is like a sweatshirt material but the llama print is like a very soft like wool material it has like little strings and this is new with tags but again it was a sample let me show you the tag so it's like your regular like free people tag and then on the back of it you can see that it's like a sample so it's like the style number the sample type all that good stuff and even here too it's like more information about it it's made out of baby alpaca fur rayon nylon cotton and lycra so that's pretty cool but yeah i guess i guess this might be one of a kind which is pretty cool but that is my favorite sweatshirt the one that i already have in pink so i figured why not have two in just different colors but that's everything that i have like i said i only got two things from the actual thrift trip but then of course some other things from my my shopping whether it be online thrifting with mercari and thread up or shopping in person at the consignment shop that i frequent quite often so thank you for watching if you have not subscribed please do so there'll be the subscribe reminder right here and you can press the button on my main channel but i appreciate everybody watching today i hope you have a great rest of your day and you enjoyed all the things that i got comment below which your favorite one was and i'll see you next time bye